Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the vlog. Today is a mini travel vlog day. I'm in Barrie and I'm gonna hit the Tim Hortons, grab myself a double double, two cream, two sugar. And uh, it's just cooler to say double double than, uh, can I have two creams and um, uh, two sugars? <laughs> Double double. There's a big truck in front of me, and he's. I don't know why he must have an issue. He's having a problem. Anyway, so we are going up to the cottage. Uh, we're going to Carol's parents' cottage, to Muskoka, and then from there we're going to hang out there for a little bit, and then we're going to Perry Sound to go on a cruise. This is all Carol's idea to start the day off right before we get up to the cottage. And it's always nice to have a coffee in the car as you're driving. We'll hit the Tim Hortons here at the en route berry grab ourselves our double double hang on i'm gonna use those two free things that we got so i got a free donut and uh a latte if i haven't had one of their lattes yet hi there what you got for you uh how you doing good how are you all right i, I won uh, a latte and a donut so i'd like to cash those in please oh no way congratulations thank you so what would you like for you? you just want the latte the latte um, let's go, I guess just regular uh, chocolate dip, please. Chocolate dip, for sure. Anything else? That would be it, thank you. All right, drive on up. Thanks. Nothing like a free drink and a free donut. I really shouldn't be eating donuts right now. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's get going to the cottage. I guess I'm not doing a large double-double. <laughs> let's get on the highway, and then we'll do a quick little review as we're driving. Not the best idea in the world, but it will be fun nonetheless. Okay, here we go. First time doing a latte while driving. Well, first time doing a latte, a Tim Hortons latte. It is crazy hot. Woo! Maybe I shouldn't do this. Oh, burn the tongue. I think I'd prefer a cappuccino. I'll take a few more sips and come back and, and give you an idea. But right now, I just scolded my tongue. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. All right, um, again, I'm not a huge latte kind of guy. Maybe next time I'll order a latte with one sugar, try it out, see if it tastes any better. It's very bitter. It's creamy, but it's just bitter. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried the Tim Hortons latte and if it is good, better. Let other people know because I don't, I can't, I'm not a good judge of this, this particular drink. So let people know, sorry about the sun. Let people know, there we go. Uh, in the comments below if you're a latte drinker, if you've had the Tim Hortons latte, and where it ranks in the world of lattes. Thank you very much, and everybody else appreciates that too. Get a conversation going, people! About to see the world in action What we can be, life with no distractions We'll get away, this is what we waited for looking for me. Hi, Sam-a-lam! Sam -a -lam -a -lam -a -lam! <laughs> no McDonald's bag today, buddy. <laughs> Easy drive up. Yeah, I used my, my free latte and free donut from Timmy's. Hello, hello. hello. Carol's just uh, gathering her parents to go on the this boat cruise. So the lake is like beautiful calm. There's a spider web right here. <laughs> Going all the way up to there, I think. It's a perfect calm lake. A fish just jumped in the middle of the lake. You can see the ripples. Gonna head up to Perry Sound. And I think we're gonna have like a snack or something. And then the boat cruise, we had to be there before 12.30. It's now quarter to 11. Only takes a half hour to get up there, you said? That's what that's what Google Maps said. Yeah, it's, I think it's only like 50 kilometers. Hey, 
Bringing it up to Perry Sound. I'm gonna hit the Harveys. Can you feel the vibe? Give me that beat. Yeah. Welcome to the Island Queen Cruise. And there's a train truss bridge. Look how high that is. That's got to be a couple hundred feet above the ground. So the train comes through here. I'm not sure where it goes. Probably down to Toronto.
Queen Cruise, the biggest sightseeing ship in all of Canada. Nice. I'm going to uh, hang here and wait for the rest of them. Slow people. Back at the cottage, and Sam is very excited. Oh, Sam, hello! Hi, Sam! Good trip, Carol. Good trip. Thank you. Thank you Sam! How you doing, Sam? Hi, Blah Blah! Hi, Blah Blah! How you doing, Sam? Before we sign off this vlog, a lot of people have asked in the past, what kind of wild, wildlife we have in Muskoka, is it dangerous, and things like that. So uh, they gave us a little chart here, which was kind of cool. Go over a few of the animals. We've got the black bear. We have the great blue heron, white-tailed deer, blue jays, beavers, moose, broad-winged hawk, eastern chipmunk, five-lined skink, Eastern wolf, I've never seen one in my whole life. Uh, Northern map turtle, Massasauga rattle, the only poisonous snake in Ontario, uh, as far as I know. Uh, the Blandings turtle, barn swallow, Eastern fox snake, non venomous. And what's making a comeback is the bald eagle. Uh, I haven't seen that in the area in a very long time, so. Those are some of the cool things. Uh, just trying to educate. <laughs> I thought the camera was off for a second. Just trying to show you around, uh, you know, Muskoka, just in case you wanted to come to the area. Uh, the only thing I'd be afraid of is a black bear, but they they swear that black bears are more scared of you than, and they are. They're they're unless they're starving and you provoke them, and then you've got a problem. But uh, and that's apparently how Kilbear Provincial Park got its name. The guy was attacked and killed uh, on that point where the um, uh, little light post was. Uh, but that was the story that the guy on the radio was saying in the boat. So there you go, a little history lesson and ge geological, geological type information for you. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.